Hey people, how's it going? I'm sorry for... <sighs> Very well. Last Friday's episode <clears throat> being so long. So, we cleared out the slavers for Hendak. And we just popped in there to uh, buy and sell some stuff real quick. Okay. Trying to figure out what to do. I can really just say balls to it and um Oh the aerial servant. Okay, I'm like, oh fuck, what the fuck was that? It will be done. And go to the circus. Let's talk to Hendak. You've completed the task, I see. I can't tell you how overjoyed I am that so many children were rescued and that nobody will face slavery here again. At least for a while. I'm not naive enough to think the slavers will not return. I shall watch for them, however, and fight them if I can. You've done more than what was required for you, and for that you have Hendak's most humble thanks. I've collected some of Leighton's more valuable items for you. Ooh. I hope this is at least some small reward for the good you've done. Oh my. Verily. <laughs> I am pleased at the progress that this ill-conceived group has made. I had not thought such a thing possible. And I've become too fat. We got plate mail. Please tell me you were close enough to... Actually, you don't have to be. You're not going to wear it. Bastard sword. Condor. Okay. Pass him the oils of speed. All right. Well, we got to do something with this. Oh, wait a minute. Nalia. I had a few spells she wanted to learn. Got the okay. Probably should have rested and then learned, but oh well. We're not the smartest tools in the shed. That's our marker, actually. There. So. Nice. Okay. Oh yeah, levels up. Let's do that. So Fadi is going to be level 11 swashbuckler. go. Good enough for government work. Alright. With 
all speed, comrade. I've had Oops. better times drown and face first in gutter water, bleeding from every orifice, don't you know? Um, okay. Can have that, you can have that. Wanda fear. Didn't happen to get magic missile, did you? All right. I got some cheap beer yep. for ya. Let's rest. We'll plump up for a better room. So rent. Sleep the night away. Talk to people. Figure out where we're going. What time is it? 8 a.m. Go. It's just like I thought it would be. Really? Helping others and doing good things. Cool. You must gather your party before venturing forth. We're gathered. Shut up. Don't judge me. For honor and glory! We're gonna go to the Adventures Mart. Helm guides my path. We're looking for a magic missile. You'll find no better prices in arm. I okay. guarantee it. Um, what do you got? You do not sell magical um, scrolls. So I'll go to the Adventures Mart directly. Now I know that there's a timer for Nalia and uh, Corgan's quests, but hopefully um, we can get things done before it all goes pear-shaped. The best leaders also follow. Okay. Ripald Bartiman at your service. My Adventure Mart is the finest shopping in all the Faerun. Wild selection, low earth prices, and very fancy illustration. Just the goods, plain and bare. He used to say that. Yep, do you have anything we're interested in? Well, yes, of course you have things we're interested in. Do you have magical scrolls? Yes. Do you have the lovely magic missile? No. All right. Certainly. Greetings, Deidre. good customer. A pearl to you. Member of Aurora's Magic Emporium, have access to considerable collection of magical treasures. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, take a look. Okay, no scrolls. Do you know somebody that does scrolls? The woman in the back? Lady youth? Is it important, uh, peasant? Okay, what do you sell? Magical scrolls. Alright, have you no fear, fear of the cowed wizards? Those pompous fools, they're as corrupt as anyone else in the city if you know who to talk to. You interested? Uh, yeah. Take your time. Are you for cereals? No magic missile. Unless it's, uh... Down at the bottom or something. One, two... Three... Well, four... No. All right. Yeah. 
It shall be mm. done and done well. <sighs> Very well. Let's go talk to this lady. For the glory of arm. Hold, the tent's been closed off for your safety. The circus has been closed until matter is resolved. What's going on? Not exactly sure. There's no problem until a show was scheduled earlier in the morning. Apparently the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Nobody's come out of the tent who went in for the show, and everybody who was sent to investigate has not come out either. Foul magic, no doubt, involved here. We're waiting for the cow wizards to arrive. Nobody's gotten out at all? Well, we've been told one of the animal trainers started out after the show began, but we haven't been able to find him. Um, could I go in and see what's going on? Right, but I'm not gonna stop you to risk yourself. Okay. And just accidentally How can this I little help? boy says something to Nolly. Oh yeah. My mom's still inside. What are you talking about? Mom went in to see the show, but something happened, nobody came out. Okay, just calm down. What do you got? A magic missile? No. Okay. Without I thought he was going to go up and see if um, Hess has magic missile. Or who's the bookkeeper? Galoomp. Scroll of Magic Missile. Yes! Thank you, sir. Am I needed? So bring that over, ask Nalia to scribe it quickly. There we go. The light shall prevail. No shit. All right. Promenade. There we go. So let's go in and see how scary the circus is. Upon stepping through the tent door, the world seems to shift. When it settles, you find yourself standing at one end of a bizarre walkway as the wind blows over you. A massive tower rises on the other side of the bridge. The tent door is nowhere to be found. Judy, eh? <sighs> Very well. Excuse me. <coughs> ah. Wayfarers come to me as Kala. You must answer the riddle, naturally, or I will allow you to pass. Are you ready to hear it? Why do I want to go over the bridge? It's symbolic of your progression to enlightenment and understanding. Are you ready to proceed? Who's Kala? Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not with him. Are you ready? Uh, Animan's getting a little cranky. Corgan's pissed. And Plotty's like, okay, give me your riddles. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of the present age. You get all that? Which of the following, then, would be true? I'm not going to go do the math, because um, I use walkthroughs for this shit, because I'm stupid, and I'm not math-oriented. But this is a math word problem. But the answer is the prince is 30 and the princess is 40. You're correct. The mighty Kala respects those with the agile and quick mind. Proceed across with my blessing. Okay. Uh, quick save. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. 
Almost. Oh, please, run! Um, who's killed everybody? Kala! I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everything's an illusion. It's magic that can hurt if you believe in it. Oh, you probably don't understand it yet. I, I don't know what he's done to the tent or with the others that have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Um, who are you? I'm an elf, a winged elf. Well, at least I was. See, this covering is some kind of illusion, but if you believe in it, then it becomes real. Please believe me. Now go before something happens to you. I never heard of a winged elf. What are you talking about? I come from a race of winged elves, so there aren't many of us left. From Fania Dale in the south. My wings were cut off long ago, though. But that's not important. The place is too dangerous. Go back to the city and warn everyone what's happening. You must flee. Um, no, I need to know what's going on. I hope you don't end up like the others, but all right. My name's Aria. I work in the circus with my uncle, Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Though it isn't real, it's an illusion. The minions, they all say they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand he was how he was able to do all of this. He must be stopped. Before he hurts any more people, please, if, if he release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. Uh, what chains? They're invisible, covered by the illusion, but they're magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells. They maintain the illusion placed on me. Okay, can I dispel the illusions? I don't know. I tried earlier when this first happened. His spells are too powerful. He's never been that good, though, so I don't know what he's done. If you free me, though, together we can stop him and hopefully rescue my Uncle Quail. Okay, so how do I release you? You need the key to the change, but they won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners to the north of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusion. Oh, they're monsters. They have a sword, which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and, and regain my normal form. But be careful. You can't trust anything you see here. Including you. <coughs> yeah, cough, cough, Animan. They look exactly the same way. Okay, spider. Uh, are you anybody important? <sighs> I am a simple woman. Okay. Uh, okay, then who are you? My name's Hannah. I came to the circus with my son. He didn't come into the tent with me. Please help. Um, what's going on here? I don't know. All I know is I came into the tent to watch the performance. A gnome came on the stage again to perform some kind of magical act. It was quite silly. It was obvious whatever the gnome was trying to do wasn't working. His magic fizzled. Everyone started laughing. I thought it was part of the act, so I laughed too. Then everything began changing. People started transforming into creatures and back into themselves. The world shifted somehow. I felt so sick and horrified. I think I passed out, but when I woke up, I turned into this monstrosity. I don't know what to do. My son didn't come into the tent with me. I'm frightened to think what may have happened to him. Who are the peasants here? They're not people. They're vicious and dangerous. I've seen them kill. you got to stop them. Okay, uh, I think uh, Nolly is... Like, I talked to your son outside. He's okay. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay. Peasants. Alright. Yeah. Oh, you bitch. Death shall take you! Aha, they are evil. A skull breaker! <laughs> dropped a sword, this one dropped a scroll. A scroll of friends. Awesome. With all, right. all speed, comrade! Quickly and precisely. Well, let's see if she's lying. You, you have the key, or, or rather, the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Okay, here you go. Thank you for your trust. The sword, it's actually a key that unlocks the... Ch yeah, you said that. Oh. Hey, she wasn't lying. My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beavar. Oh, we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. Okay, uh, do you want to come with us? We can always use some help. You let me join you? Alright, but let's find Quail. Who knows what they've done to him? Alright, let's go. 
What is it now? For he... honor and glory! I shall go forth at your command. Yeah. Be forth. Give this to Aerie. Edmund's gonna share some of his bullets. So there's Aerie, she's a cleric mage. There we go. Customize script. Ranged. Thank you. Well, we're not gonna rest, but she knows magic vessel, that's important. or some healing potions. Nolly is going to donate her bracers. Get her more protected. And... Oh. Wands. There we go. Oh, now you leveled up. Awesome. So that's it. I'm not missing anybody. So now you're becoming a level ten mage. She gets that reduced and a couple more spells. There we go. So we're going to go further into the circus, but we'll do it tomorrow. The circus. So we got Aerie. We get through this, and then we continue on our adventures. So I'll see you tomorrow. If you could leave a like, that would be awesome, but you don't have to. And stay tuned, more of Fadi and Feyrun. Adios!